South China Morning Post, 24th of November 2022. After a 30-year absence, the U.S. military is prepared to return to Subic Bay, Philippines, to challenge China's presence. Due to worries about China's growing maritime aggressiveness, the U.S. military is likely to return to Subic Bay 30 years after giving up what was once their largest military facility in Asia, a top official of the local organization in charge of the free port zone said. The South China Sea facing former U.S. naval base Subic Bay is now a thriving free port run by the Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority, employing around 150,000 residents. Through the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement, Manila and Washington have been negotiating to establish five additional sites in the Asian nation for constructing U.S. military installations and pre-positioning U.S. weapons. A day before the 30th anniversary of the U.S. Navy's departure from the harbor it had ruled for nearly 94 years, Roland Paulino, chairman of the SPMA told Kyoto News on Wednesday that he would be extremely shocked if Subic Bay did not become an EDCA site since during the conflict, time is of the importance. To commemorate the SPMA's 30th founding anniversary, several activities were staged on Thursday at the Freeport, including a public display of commercial aircraft and a Philippine Navy helicopter at the Subic Airfield, which is now used for surveillance and aviation training. The EDCA, signed in 2014, will probably last longer than its 10-year term, as seen by the United States' increased interest in creating new bases in the Philippines and fresh funding for EDCA site upgrades. According to Paulino, increased hostility between the United States, the Allied Powers, and China is a concern, as are tensions in the Taiwan Strait. Former mayor of the nearby Olongapo City, Paulino, says that most people in Olongapo are pro-Americans since they have long lived with U.S. personnel. He also prefers that his government retain its defense relationship with the U.S. Mary Kay Carlson, the U.S. ambassador to the Philippines, paid a visit to Subic Bay and the shipyard that Cerberus Capital Management LP purchased this year on November 9. The Philippine Navy is now using a portion of the shipyard as its new naval facility. Paulino thinks Carlson's visit highlights Subic Bay's significance to the U.S. According to a senior Philippine official, two Chinese companies had attempted to take over the shipyard, but the United States intervened. Thousands of kilometers from its coasts, China has claimed illegitimate claims in the South China Sea. The Philippines and China both have competing claims in the South China Sea, a region rich in minerals and a crucial shipping route through which 3 trillion US dollars in yearly trade flows. As instructed by Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr., Manila sent a note verbal, an informal, unsigned diplomatic note, to China on Thursday to clarify the events surrounding the encounter between the Philippine Navy and the Chinese Coast Guard on November 20 near the maritime feature known as Thichu, which the Philippines occupy. According to Philippine authorities, the Chinese Coast Guard allegedly forcefully gathered debris matching a Chinese rocket launched in October. Before the Chinese rigid hull inflatable boat crew severed the towing line and seized the object, the staff of the Philippine naval ship made two attempts to obstruct the Chinese boat's path. 